is this At his word a lame man walks And a silent man can talk And the broken are restored Who is this? He can walk on raging seas And command a storm to cease At his voice the demons flee This is Jesus This is our Good morning. Welcome back to this week's series on the humanity of Jesus. And today we are looking at Jesus dealing with loneliness, specifically in Mark 15. I'll read from Mark 15 verses 33 to 34. Now when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? By this point in Mark, his friends had all abandoned him. His best mate had denied ever knowing him, and his own people wanted Jesus to die. However, the worst is still to come. Because with all of the sin on the world upon his shoulders, he was now separated from the Father. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Not only was Jesus apart from his God, his heavenly Father, but he was also apart from himself. He was, quite possibly, the most alone any person could ever be. The primary school I went to in Lincolnshire was tiny. There were 80 students across all seven years, and my particular year, there were nine of us. In the autumn of the last year, the dreaded 11 plus exam came around. So the nine of us stepped into the hall, took our verbal paper, left, came back a week later, and took our non-verbal paper. About three months later, the results came in. Three out of the nine had passed. Of our close-knit group, only one third of us were going to the grammar schools. And of the three that passed, I was the only boy. When the next September rolled around, and I walked into that secondary school, it was just me in a sea of a thousand other lads. Given the pandemic, the lockdowns, and life in general, I am sure that every single one of us has felt that sort of loneliness, of it being just us against the sea. However, because of what Christ has done on the cross, we have a relief. At the moment of his death, it is written that the temple curtain tore in two. You can write a whole, whole other set of devotions on all of the meaning behind that temple curtain splitting in two. But the bit we're focusing on, boiled down, is that now there is none of the separation. Before, that temple curtain was the barrier between us and God. But because the temple curtain's gone, we have free unrestricted access to the Father. From this whole passage, I can take away two key parts from Mark and from the temple curtain splitting. Number one, Jesus knows exactly what it feels like to be alone. He can relate to us. Linking back to that passage in Hebrews, like we will be doing a lot of this week. Because he knows what it feels like, he can relate to Abraham's descendants, and that can help with our salvation. And number two, since that temple curtain is torn, we're never truly alone anymore. We may feel alone, forgotten, abandoned, 
but we have a personal, relatable God to draw alongside us. Feeling alone is part of life. Because as much as we wish it wouldn't, life has a habit of not going our way all the time. You don't need me to tell you that, I'm just... We all know it. But when we do feel alone, forgotten and abandoned, Jesus knows that feeling. Jesus has felt that feeling. He fully understands. To me, that is the greatest relief in the world. Even though I feel lonely, I'm never actually alone. Because we are never truly alone, when we read our Bibles, when we pray, we can feel God drawing close to us again. We're never truly alone. And scriptures back this up. I would like to finish by reading Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Surely he is with us always to the very end of the age. Who is this? At his word a lame man walks And a silent man can talk And the broken are restored Who is this? He can walk on raging seas And command a storm to cease At his voice the demons flee This is Jesus This is our God working wonders and miracles